Hello and welcome in my new uh, race vlog. Uh, this time I just show you if you drive in one of the uh, off metal car like a Honda in uh, multi-class races, how how much time you need to overtake all of the GT4s and go back to and race with your GT3 friends. So if you see they have some issues in turn one, the GT4s and the GT3s has some. Uh, some issues, uh, one of the car was a uh, spin from from our class and the car in front of me uh, the two BMW are GT4s and uh, the pace difference, race pace difference between the cars are 6 to 10 seconds and even with the slowest, one of the slowest car, the Honda, you can easily uh, overtake the, the faster straight line speed cars from GT4 class like the BMW and if you see the Lexus behind me he uh, he missed one corner he went to the, the grass and he's easily catching up and when we start fighting back and uh, I have a Porsche front of me he's GT3 the, the other cars are GT4 we are doing one lap and by the end of the lap one you can easily overtake all of the cars. This is the speed difference. So the main important thing is what you need to change from your driving when you drive in GT4. You need to have turning indicators. So turning indicators will be helps the GT3 cars to show where you're going, not where you want them to, to pass you. So if you're going to left side, you're not blinking in right side, you need to use the left, like in the rear cars. And uh, this will help uh, the GT3 cars to know, yeah, you're going uh, to the right side, they can overtake you from the left side. You don't need to slow down, you don't need to change your pace, because you are in the middle of your race. So the only thing what you need to change in your driving style to start using the turning indicator. So faster car coming behind you, using the indicator you stay stays in the racing line showing where you expecting them uh, to pass you where you will be which side of the of the road and for the rest is them on them if you're using your indicator if you show them showing them you know they are behind you and they pass you it's fine if they hit you it's the, the fourth of the gt3 cars because they have the pace they have all amount of time and uh, and the speed to to find a place to to overtake you i can overtake with the slower gt3 cars in a corner in a chicane uh in a straight line everywhere so you don't need to do anything when you're driving a gt3 uh, gt4 you just need to do your race try to catch up with others and uh, just worry on your own race and uh, use the indicator that's it. This is a very short video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being amazing and awesome. Stay safe. Stay amazing. And uh, see you next time. Take care.